Hey guys, so today I'm going to go through the products I use for um, the makeup I'm wearing right now, which is the makeup that I've been wearing lately for um, everyday summer, except without um, the eyeliner. I usually wear the Maybelline um, Studio Eyeliner in black, and I really like it, but um, on Sunday I wore this makeup without the eyeliner and I felt like it w wore better throughout the day um, because I I just feel like the eyeliner smudged oh, oops, or it um, it just didn't look as nice as this looked um, later on in the day mm, oops, my cat's right there <laughs> and uh, ignore the mess in the back I'm getting new bedroom furniture so I'm just kind of everything's in different places so the first thing I do is use the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer this color is in not quite sure I think this is in um, nude or tan I think I'm not quite sure uh, this was in one of my other videos I really like this found it um, tinted moisturizer I've been looking for like a lightwear foundation for the summer and I just haven't found any that I've liked so I've just been using this and uh, it, gives, it just covers up any of my redness which is really all I care about I don't really like high coverage foundations and I just wear this and then I use this Revlon 24 hour the 12 hour like color stay concealer um, I don't know what color everything's rubbed off of it everything's rubbed off of it so I can't tell but I just use this like under my eyes anywhere where there's redness sometimes I'll put it like on my cheeks here because um, I do have redness there um, and I'll put it on the tops of my eyelids too just to um, get any coloring out of there so after that I'll use mm, my Urban Decay Naked palette. I don't have it with me right now. And I use the shade Naked and I just fill in my eyebrows with um, the brush that comes with that palette. It's just like a flat brush. And then once my eyebrows are done, I'll run some clear mascara that's like an eye gel type thing just to hold them in place. And then I get my MAC palette right here. And today, lately I've been liking Gleam, which is right here for all over the eyes. It's like a pink champagne -y color. And then I'll use uh, Expensive Gold, which is this one right here, which is like a bronzy kind of red color for the crease. And then I use this color here, which is Brulee, and I'll use it for um, brow bone and in between the eyes. Right here. And it's like a matte color, so it it adds a little bit of brightness to the eye, but it's not like sparkly craziness. Because in the summer, I don't particularly like a whole lot of sparkle on my face. And I apply all that with a 217 brush because this brush basically does anything you need it to do. And then after my eyes are done, I'll go in with the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. This is the waterproof version because I have oily skin. And I love this. I will definitely I need to get a new one actually soon, but this is just the, one of the best mascaras. And it does not smudge. It doesn't look like fake. It doesn't clump your eyes, lashes together. So yeah, I like that. And then once that's done, I will powder my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in Nude Beige. And I really like this powder. It gets away any of the shine from my face and it lasts a long time and I apply that with a MAC 129 brush and then once the powder is on I will go on to bronzer which right now I'm using the hard candy bronzer in hula hula which is like a it's just like a brownie tan it's not too orange and has a little bit of shimmer in it but I'll just contour my face with that put it 
you know, put the excess amount on my nose and forehead where the sun would normally naturally uh, make me tan. And then after that, I'll use the Posy Tint by Benefit. And this is just like a, um, it's a stain. So it has like a little brush. It's a bright pink color. And I'll put that on my cheeks. And I've been loving um, this also with this, which is the Benefit Sunbeam, which is uh, like a highlighter, which I have on now. And I love these, these two things together. It's like the most natural eye natural cheek combination it's like i don't know what it is about these two but i just love it so much more than like a powder or even like um like the maybelline dream bouncy mood matte cheek thing i don't know what it is about these but if you just like natural like flush to the cheeks or natural like um shine then I would highly recommend these products. These were actually in an earlier video of mine, and I would definitely be repurchasing the larger bottles of these. And then once that's done, the last thing I do is lips, which is I use lately. I've been liking the it's the L'Oreal Color Crafts in Sunset and Goria, and it's it's coming out oh, really red on here. But I just have it on now and it's like a really nice corally pink color. I love this lipstick because it's almost not like a lipstick. You, I can put it on um, not in front of a mirror and I don't have to worry about it looking weird. And it's just really moisturizing. So yeah, that is basically what I've been doing every day. And I'll put a better picture of what this looks like on my blog. Um... Again, I'm filming on my laptop, so the quality is not very good. I'll put a better picture up of this makeup on my blog. So if you want to see this in better quality, you can. So that's it for now. Bye.